street intersection. The figure below shows the street map for a certain region with the street intersections marked A through L. So we have, let's look at this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So there are 12 intersections here. A person standing at an intersection can see along straight lines to other intersections that are in her line of sight and all other people standing at these intersections. Remember, from here standing at E, you can see I, A, F, G, H. If you're standing at B, we should be able to see F, J, A, C, D and G straight lines. For example, a person standing at intersection G can see all the people standing at B, C, E, F, H and K. In particular, the person standing at intersection G can see the person standing at intersection E irrespective of whether there is a person standing at F. So from here, I can see this even if there is somebody standing here. Wonderful. So it's in a straight line, I can see. Maybe I'll shift a little bit and see, but I can see. Whoever is standing on that straight line, on that road, I can see, even if there is a person bang in between. Wonderful. Oh. Six people, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, are standing at different intersections. No two people are standing at the same intersection. The following additional facts are known. X, U and Z are standing at three corners of a triangle formed by the three street, seg by three street segments. Triangle. Only triangles formed are here and here. So straight away, this is referring to either B, C, G or B, F, G. These three X, U, Z are at B, C, G or B, F, G. X can see only U and Z. X can see U and Z. That is that we know because they are standing at three corners of a triangle. Can see only U and Z. Very important cannot see anyone else. Y can see only U and W. Okay, good. U sees V standing in the next intersection behind Z. So there's a U, V, Z straight line. Either like this or like this. Vertical or horizontal. It could be left to right. It could be top to bottom, right to left. Doesn't matter. U, V, Z is a straight line. W cannot see V or Z and W cannot see V or Z. I'm not going to work with this because this is a, a negative constraint. I don't know who he can see. No one among the six is standing at intersection D. So D we can rule out. And so how are we going to work with this? I like constraint one because it gives three in three vertices. There are, only, there are two possibilities, but there's still only two. Then X and U are already seen and Z is also in and we incorporate V also the straight line idea. So using constraint 1 and 4, we can create possible outlines for 4 out of the 6. Then the other 3 will use the other constraints, 2, 3 and, and 5. 6 is obvious to incorporate. And so think about this, this, this marks are a diagram. We want to think about X, U, Z at B, F, G or B, C, G. And remember? X, U, Z or X, U, Z in some order. And I'm going to think about U and Z because there is going to be a V behind it. And so you could have U, Z and V. But remember that nobody at D right away that is ruled out. So we could have a U, Z, V. If you're thinking about B, C, G or, or U, Z, V, but U and Z cannot be at B and G. Right? Now let's go to B, F, G. You could have U, Z, V. You could have U, Z, V or U, Z, V. The U, Z, V can, can be along this axis, this axis for the triangle B, C, G. For B, F, G, it can be along this axis. It can be along this axis and this axis or B, F, G. Using X, U, Z, V, we are somehow managing five different possibilities. And I'm going to go step by step. 
and incorporate those five possibilities let's break it down the triangle could be the bcg triangle or the bfg triangle so nobody is standing at d that's the easy part between this and this we could draw some possibilities with bcg triangle some with bfg triangle i'm going to pick one of the two triangles draw all possibilities then go to the other triangle methodically and so let's say we pick a bfg and so we could have u z v like this u z v like this and u z v like this u z v u z v and u z v we cannot have u z the other way around there's no room for v this side and so left to right bottom to top top to bottom right so three possibilities here using that triangle b f g as x u z right brilliant now we know that x can see only u and z that means if you look at this possibility x is here there's nobody here nobody here nobody here nobody here x can see beyond z also remember now here is nobody here nobody here nobody here x were here nobody here nobody here nobody here brilliant so we incorporate that constraint also and we get to this point x can see only u and z what other constraint do we have we see that y can see only u and w w cannot see v or z y can see only u and w this is u here that means u can see w this is u this can be w y should be able to see u and w so u should be able to see y and w that's not possible from here there's only one option available is ruled out wherever we put y we put y here y cannot see u if y can see u that means u should be able to see y then so u is seen by x u z y all of them and y can see only u and w w cannot see v or z y can see only u and w okay okay got it wrong y can see u y need not be you need not be able to see w so this could be y and y can see only u and w that means this should be w this is the only other place y can see but if you put w here then w can see v that's not possible the w should not be able to see v or z so if you put y here only place for w is here then w will end up seeing v that's not possible Let's go to the next one. Y can see only U and W. So Y can see only U and W. So from U, there are two places that can be seen. If Y were here, then Y can see Z and V also. That's not possible. If Y were here, Y can be here. Y should be able to see U and W. So W should be either here or here. Now W, if it were here. W will be able to see V. W cannot see V and Z. W should be here. But this is a possibility. Z V X U U Z V like this X like this Y here W here Y can see only U and W U Z V on a straight line X can see only Z and U W cannot see V or Z. So this works. We have a winner. Next possibility in this sequence. Let's see. Y can see only U and W from U. this side this nothing is available here if y were here then y would be able to see z and v also that's not possible so this possibility is also ruled out so only one possibility exist with x at bfg these two are ruled out only this exist now let's put x u z to be at bcg remember bcg you can have u z v like this you cannot have u z v down chat because nobody is here we could have u z v along this straight line left to right we cannot have right to left because we cannot accommodate v this side so now we have only two possibilities brilliant so we know that again x cannot see anyone 
other than u and z so like u stat so if x is here u and z can see nobody here nobody here nobody here nobody here and we still need to accommodate y and w remember and if x were here nobody here nobody here nobody here we still need to accommodate y and w now let's go to this constraint y can see only u and w from u y should be able to see u with no possibility here if u were here is no available slot here no available slot here nothing else is opened up so this is not possible u here nothing opened up here nothing opened up here again this is not possible both of these are not possible that means we have just this one glorious possibility x z u at that bfg triangle and then y and w here so x z u u z b in a straight line like this y and w like this now let's jump to the questions the question should become very simple who is standing at intersection a intersection a there's no one who can v c v is here who can v c v can see z and u we cannot see x we cannot see y we cannot see w u and z only can what is the minimum number of street segments that x must cross to reach y x is here y is here minimum number 1 2 it doesn't have to go like this three steps two steps will do two is the correct answer once you have got the grid and there's only one grid in this answer then these questions become far simpler should a new person stand at intersection d who among the six would she see intersection d the new person who would she see she would definitely see x she would see w she cannot see u z v or y she will see x and w w and x only that is the right answer